<laughs> it's 10 p.m. You've been coding all day. How do you feel? I feel amazing. amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I it's all day. Can I pour flour on you? <laughs> No, more like this. This is this is what's called quality deliciousness. Sorry about that. Let me get you up to speed. This is Event Zero, a free hackathon exclusively for Chicago Public Middle School and High School students, created by a group of Chicago Public School students themselves who thought CPS needed a transformation in the way it teaches and provides resources for computer science. Event Zero is run under Shy Code, an initiative founded by high school sophomore Anton Utkin where they're all working to make computer science equitable and accessible for Chicago's youth. Here's what it was like to attend their first event. All right, you're good to go. I'm from Taft. I'm from Northside College Prep. Richard Carson. Phoenix Military Academy. Um, Whitney Young. Whitney Young. Where is our Walter Payne? We are from John Hancock College Prep. We want to learn new stuff with encoding. We're really big fans of coding. So. And I hope to access my computer more, I guess. Do more than just use YouTube and stuff. I am looking forward to having a successfully run event and inspire people to be passionate about coding. I feel more inspired to code more so then when I get older I won't have as much problems with technology and I will actually help know how to solve my problems. Well I think the biggest issue right now is just that a lot of schools are kind of misusing CS where they teach it in a very pedantic manner because that's what the AP wants. Coding can be fun and there's a lot more that you can do with it than just menial tasks, right? The morning was focused on getting people to think about how what they're building can apply to the real world. They kicked it off with a speaker, a project manager from Accenture, talking about software in the world of business. The point is, is that technology is everywhere. There's technology in, in when you check out at the supermarket, right? When you're then, the icebreakers. They like taking naps! Who else likes taking naps? Yeah! Then they tried to get people to share ideas with each other. Some were more comfortable than others. Just come on stage and uh, you can give a quick little introduction. So, anything that you were thinking about, just come on. And I don't have an idea. <laughs> a breakfast simulator. A breakfast si That one sounds interesting. Fire Emblem ripoff? Oh my god! Okay. So just if you if you're interested in collaborating with any of these people, like I think it's very fair to just come up to them and like say, hey, want to work on something together? And they'll be like, yes. It seems exciting, but I'm kind of like nervous about it because I've never coded before. Welcome to the uh, lemonade scooper right here. Oh yes, so I, legitimate I, position title. I, this is a very important job. As you can see, our home squeezed lemonade right here. We work very hard to get it right. <laughs> Groups got straight to working on their projects or either got to learn coding in a workshop. Here's what the workshops were like. I really like the hackathon. It has um, many opportunities for us to do related to coding. I'm looking forward to learning more about algorithms and machine learning and artificial intelligence. I am 11 years old. I'm hoping to make a game a lot like the ones that they give you an example of. Like My favorite one so far is Desert Drive and I'm hoping to make something kind of like it. I think I'll enjoy it, but it'll definitely be confusing and hard. Event Zero was hosted at Shy Tech Academy a school focused on helping expose technology and coding to underserved youth, especially people of color and young women. I went to get the dean and assistant dean's take on the mission of the school. I'm Owen Thomas, assistant dean at Chicago Tech. We have a very wide range of students and a very wide range of teachers. I think these events are awesome for the city, the community, just bringing different kids together, showing kids different sides of town that they probably never seen. We make it help you here at Chicago Tech, you never know, so come on out to these events. I think it's the best way to figure out how to uh, get your thing off the ground. I'm Lance Russell, CEO for Chicago Tech Academy. The reason that I got into this work is that I had been in the tech industry for about 20 years. I ran my own company for a number of those years, and our biggest challenge was always finding great talent. So I was long been concerned with, you know, what does the pipeline look like? How do we develop more coders or, uh, at a young age? And in particular, one of the things that we find in this city is the lack of diversity in the technology ranks. So we really have to work hard as a community to make sure we get young people of color, young women, everybody from all socioeconomic strata 
exposed to technology as early as we can. <laughs> Groups started forming official teams, making their way to various rooms of the school, one by one, to start working. We have a general idea of what we're going to do, we just need to figure out uh, our specific execution for the idea. I'm about to start doing lighting, so that's why the lighting looks up. This is a work in process of an early enemy. You say work in progress, not work in process. <laughs> Throughout your way to finding a chicken nugget, and then at the end of the level, <clears throat> you're gonna meet with like this really big, huge chicken nugget. Yes, we do. We're building a video game using Pico 8. Or I can like describe like new. The most recent post on that though, because. Dang it. <laughs> Want to say what you did? <laughs> would you like to confess to the camera? I deleted all of our code. <laughs> <laughs> From 10 to 12, there were various mini games and challenges held in the gym for prizes. For those still up after midnight, the day started to get the best of us. You're cleaning up everything. You're cleaning up everything. World War III, this is what World War III is like. <laughs> The next morning, teams powered through to finish their work. Wait, didn't you write on your face? You had like five minute nap. I, you had ten minutes. Like, so, like, and I just kind of mucked. So evidently, is less good. So, uh, so we finished our project. Then all the teams got to showcase their work, fair style, in the gym where everybody walked around and tested out each other's games. Like a choose your own adventure kind of thing? Wait. That, that's and to finish event zero, the teams presented their projects. It's a two player game where you have two spaceships that have to shoot each other. We decided to really focus on the plot. Um, we actually spent the first six hours or so on paper. We didn't touch a computer for the first six hours. We ended the day with a speaker, Abdul, a Syrian refugee pursuing computer science in the United States, to talk to us about all of the opportunity that we have and that we should take advantage of it. I get arrested when I was 14 because I present my project to dispose of the nuclear waste that we have in our country. You can do an incredible thing, regardless of what you think about yourself. You guys are the next generation, and there is people out there that you need your help. I just want to tell you guys that please make the future better. Keep it up. As the event came to a close, I definitely thought they could have done better on a few things. But overall, it was a solid first event and progress made towards making CS equitable and accessible for Chicago's youth.